Lawrence. Yeah, a brand new one as of earlier today. PTC 16, Potential Tropical Cyclone 16. This basically get, it gets the classification Potential Tropical Cyclone when it doesn't have tropical characteristics yet, but it is forecast to do so before impacting land like the East Coast. Think North Carolina by tomorrow going into Saturday. That also gives the National Hurricane Center the capability of issuing watches and warnings. Back out towards the east, we are dealing with another invest, an area of disturbed weather just in the eastern Atlantic tonight. That is likely to be turned into a depression as we get closer to this weekend, but we still have over a week of concern to watch for that system develop, as well as Hurricane Nigel all the way off to the northeastern Atlantic tonight. But let's talk about potential tropical cyclone 16, because as of the 11 o'clock update just coming in from the National Hurricane Center, we are still just under that tropical storm criteria. It's not quite grabbing those characteristics it needs to officially be classified as tropical, but it is forecast to happen tomorrow morning. Once that happens, it would get the name Ophelia, and that is going to impact portions of North Carolina back up towards Virginia, continuing to keep tropical storm strength even up towards portions of the Northeast before weakening once again later in the weekend. So this will be a brief system, but it's still going to produce quite a bit of heavy rain, strong winds along parts of the East Coast going through the next couple of days. That energy will pull up to the north. We're actually going to get some drier air on the backside, which is going to cut out some of the rain chances and allow for very pleasant temperatures. Morning lows will not only be very, very comfortable, but afternoon highs will be bearable as we get towards this weekend. We'll talk about that coming up.